Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd ahabatifillah we know and we must know the pillars of Islam and the pillars of Iman but I wanted to talk about very briefly the pillars of Iman that every Muslim should know because this is your asas of Iman this is your foundation of Iman your foundation of what Islam calls you to knowing and understanding. What your Lord wa Taala has called you and ordered you and commanded you to understand. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, لَيْسَ الْبِرَّ أَنْ تُوَلُّ وُجُوكُمْ كِبْلَ الْمَشْرِكِ وَالْمَغْرِبِ وَلَكِنَ الْبِرَّ مَنْ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَالْيَوْمِ الْآخِرِ وَالْمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَالْكِتَابِ وَالنَّبِيِّينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem, It is not from bitter, it is not from piety, that you turn your faces to the east and the west. وَلَكِنْ الْبِرَّ However, Piety, true piety, is from believing in Allah. So, believing in Allah. Well, the Yom al-Akhir, in the hereafter, the day, the 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 day of judgment. Yom al-Qiyamah. Wa malaika and the angels. Well, kitab and the books. Wa nabiyin and the Prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wassalam. So here in this ayat, this ayat, ahabat fillah, we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions most of the pillars of iman. And he, tabarak wa ta'ala, lets us know that it's not from uh, the taqwa and piety, just that you do rituals. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَيْسَ الْبِرَ لَيْسَ الْبِرَ أَنْ تُوَلَّ وُجُوكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it's not from piety that you turn your faces to the east and the west. And then he ta'ala defines what piety is. Walakin al bir. However, bir. It is to believe in Allah. Al bir. Man amina billahi. Bir. The true piety. The true uh, concept of this righteousness and everything good of faith is that you believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this pillar of, his, uh, of Iman, the first pillar of Iman, comprises that you, it comprises of Tawheed. Not just that you believe that there's a God, but believing that there is no God worthy of worship except Allah. So that means you devote all your worship to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And believing that He is the Lord and the sustainer and the provider of everything. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, has divine names and attributes. All that is amana billah. It's all belief in Allah. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned... He mentioned the second pillar here, believing in the day of judgment. That we're going to be held account, held to account, held accountable for what we did in this life, the good and the evil. It's going to come back to us. And there is a day, we'll all be Yom al Hisab, and all that that comprises. That means the mu'min has to believe in all that, the Muslim has to believe in all of that. And that there are angels who have various tasks that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prescribed for them. And that they don't disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the books, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the messengers, those anbiya, books, divinely revealed books. 
which comprised of the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the perfect speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, full of commands, full of, of stories of those who came before, full of lessons, full of the exhortion to Tawheed, to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. And likewise, Ahabat of Allah, wal Nabiyin, and that we believe in those envia, we believe in those prophets. Alayhim after salatu wasalam, all of them, the ones we don't know of, we don't know their names, we don't know much about them, and those who we do know something from the Quran. We believe in them all. That's a part of Iman, and that is Iman bil Ghayb. We don't we've never seen him. We've never seen him, we've never seen the Malaika, we've never seen Yom al Hisab. Hada Amur Ghaibiya. These are the these are uh, things of the unseen world. We believe completely in them with yaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Kitab al Kareem, talking about Ahl Iman, talking about the people of faith. Qal Bismillah Rahman Rahim Alif Lamim Thalik al Kitab Allah Rayba fi Hudin Lil Muttaqeen Al Ladina Yukminuna Bil Ghaib Wa Yukimuna Salat wa Mimma Razakala Hum Yun Fikun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al-Kareem after Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alif Lam Mim Thalik al-Kitab Allah Rayba fi This is a book in which there is no doubt Hudin Lil Muttaqeen Guidance for those who are pious, those who want piety, those who want guidance. This book, this Quran, is a guidance. Hudin lil muttaqin. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes who the muttaqin are, who is ahli iman, who is actualizing and realizing and, and, and understanding these pillars of iman and practicing them. Alladina yu'minuna bil ghayb. Those who believe in the unseen. And they establish the prayer. And from what they earn, they spend. From what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them, they spend. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our razak. He gave us the ability to earn. And this is an important reminder. Who cares? They try to take away your rizq. You have difficulty in finding your rizq. Or difficulty in finding the money, amount of money that you want. Keep striving. Because it's, it's with Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. From what we have provided them, they spend. So we make sure we, we're spending on those we're charged in authority over. And the fuqara and the musaqeen, the poor and the destitute, and all of those who are the muhtajin, those people who need, and those people we have the ability to give sadaqa lillah. Had him in Iman. This is from Iman, it's from faith. And so many ayat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions also, which is also a pillar of Iman, which is the Qadr, which was not mentioned in that ayah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Inna kulla shay'in khalaqanahu bi qadr. Verily, everything we have created it with the due measure, with the due, in accordance with our decree. The Prophet said when asked about Iman in the Hadith of Jibreel, قال, and تؤمن بالله وملائكته وكتبه ورسوله واليوم الآخر وتؤمن بقدر خيره وشره. The Prophet said, he said, Iman and تؤمن بالله, it is to believe in Allah, وملائكته, and his angels, وكتبه, and his books, ورسوله, and his messengers. وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرِ In the day of judgment. وَتُؤْمِنُ بِقَدْرِ خَيْرِهِ وَشَرِهِ And believing in the divine destiny, the good and the evil of it. So, أَحَبَتِ فِي اللَّهِ Know and understand the pillars of Iman. Question. Name the pillars of Iman and tell us where we can find the evidence for this. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.